Hey guys, MJ here, back again with some more Dying Light 2 for you today. So if you do end up enjoying today's video, make sure you smash that like for me, subscribe if you are new. But yeah, let's get into it. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the absolute best weapon in the game, which is the Doom Shotgun and the not so good Darth Vader Force Stroke Power. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Okay, yeah, Anakin, all right, let's have a look. Maybe it's not too bad, yeah? <laughs> so, as you can see, it doesn't really last long. It kind of stops them in their tracks, so you can just basically whack them. Um, and, yeah, that's always really good for, but it's pretty decent. So, before we start, then, you have to have completed the broadcast quest. That is the number one thing that you have to have done. And you'll find out why, uh, because there's certain parts of where we have to go that won't open up until that mission is complete. So next then, all you have to do is find all of these five black ducks and they look like this. So yeah, they're pretty small and hard to find. So just follow along and I'll show you where they are. Okay guys, so uh, the first duck um, that you're going to have to find um is actually on the broad right at the end of the broadcast level uh, you'll be obviously right at the very top you'll need to jump down but if you did actually not do that which i have done um then of course you can basically I found uh, the lift again and I'm now going up in the lift um, yeah to get to the top there's actually this little walk the plank type thing here and what you're gonna be wanting to aim for is the window there so I hope I can freaking uh, do it but yeah Oh, what? To choke on your aspirations. Okay, and of course, if you do end up falling, uh, then yeah, <laughs> then you should be able to uh, respawn straight back up here anyway, because there is like that or bed um, there, that little safe zone bit over there, and then you, yeah. So anyway, let's try it. Oh, fuck. There we go. So, of course, you want to get this little item here on the table. So, yeah, that's uh, obviously what it will say. If you 555, then I'm... Yeah, so that's the uh, the thing right there. And also, there's, there's the inhibitor in here, which I'll grab that as well while we're in here. Nice. But over here is where the safe is, and then we just type in the code six six six. So we're opening it up, and there you can see right there the little cheeky uh, duck inside. So and there'll be a little sounder effect as well you can actually follow the one and continue the story if you want and come back and do this later like I say there is that elevator that allows you to get back up so the next one should be in this sort of area down here um, so obviously the closest fast travel I think is this one so I'm gonna fast travel there there is another duck right there sitting on a skull so yeah you can see right there and uh, I'll bring up the map again just so you can see the pre precise like location there so yeah I want to go all the way over to this bit here hey guys so uh, the next one is up here then in the wharf and you may or may not have 
already done that metro station to get the fast travel uh, yeah I would recommend obviously doing all of these uh, metro stations so then you can actually fast travel uh, a lot easier around uh, the map so you probably would want to do this in the daytime but obviously I'm doing it in the night time so that's like bad for me I guess but uh, yeah just for you guys I would say like try and make sure you can get this done in the day so then you've not got these guys around so you don't cause like a chase or anything plus I think there is actually something else over here yep a GRE uh, anomaly so obviously yeah once you do you actually end up getting over it uh, there is gonna be some big old monster to fight if you are doing it in the night time all right so yeah killed him uh, <laughs> so we get another inhibitor container i guess quite easy easy so if you did want to actually do it at night time and then come by here you can get obviously that sorted obviously continue to watch the video you will see when i pick up the next duck see once you've done all of that if you if you want to do that fine but if you don't you can just come here in the daytime and uh jump to these boxes here jump up and you will see there's something under the water so drop down turn on your torch yeah you will see the police car and then you just have to There we go, unlock it, and whoa, there's a few heads in there. Oh yeah, there it is in the middle. Alright guys, so the next part then will be right away up um, here in Houndfield. Right, so obviously it's a little bit around here, and you'll know because there'll be this little opening behind you there. Um, wall which you can go past but also when you turn around and you like walk up here there was uh, if you do your survivor sense thing there's an investigation thing but if we jump over you can see it is right there a little duck so yeah let's take him and uh, just to show you guys again, that is the exact, oh, that is the exact position <laughs> right there where I am, where it is, okay? So the next one, you'll want to head uh, basically right in this open space area here. Basically, we want to get up there to the top of that. <laughs> Alright, so we've grappled up there. Okay, so, sometimes the door will be open and sometimes the door won't be. I, I think that's like um, whatever your progression of the game is. You want to just get up there. You want to come along to this bit here. <laughs> That's gonna hurt, but yeah, that's how you do it. You gotta just sort of it's a little bit tricky, but you'll get you'll get up there. <laughs> and then obviously, yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff up here you can just grab, but what we're really interested in is this little duck right here. And that should be your last one as uh, so now you want to come back to uh, the tallest tower in the game uh, that you obviously just done with the broadcast mission and yeah you want to go in this entrance here you want to go to this elevator here open it up call for the elevator and hopefully it comes <laughs> Okay, yeah, guys, it takes a freaking long time, uh, and I pushed the button a few times, but it will come, so don't worry, 
just keep waiting and it will show up it should say basement and that's where you need to head to so you're gonna hit that and yeah so now be able to head down through the water here right forward and we will have to open up this thing again head this way See, there's a lot of these little candles which on the actual last duck there was a few candles if you noticed but these ones are all obviously lit up so yeah something's gonna happen of course you want to be heading towards level zero so you're gonna click that yeah of course level zero so is gonna go down We're gonna come out in a room full of weirdness <laughs> so now I, I think we have to put basically these ducks in place on these altars I guess This one. Okay. So then now that's done. Oh no, it's not. It's put. You want to get back to, I guess, this entrance part, and you want to look to your left, and you want to grab this one here, and you want to basically take it. All the way across opposite and put it in there and then you want to take the one very next to the one you just put there and go across here and do that and then I guess so on Again with this one and take it straight across and put it there. Then I think last one. Which again. Yeah. And again. There's another one. Um, and we put it in here. That brings this thing in the middle here, which is the doom gun um, which starts the challenge now you can actually keep this gun if you fail the uh, the challenge and actually start it and then quit the game really quickly and then when you open the game up you will have it in your inventory so this is the part that we really want guys this is the mini game so we're gonna go into that now and what we need to do is head to the right here and go up as you notice I had a little bit of difficulty on shooting the gun at first I wasn't sure what button to push uh, just to let you guys know it is actually left on the d-pad um, not any of the triggers or anything so it is like an accessory uh, type 
thing, so yeah. So yeah, that's it. There's the door, so we go in there. And then here's the force right there. I guess you can die as you wish <laughs> <laughs> all right then guys so after you do actually get the dying force you will have to obviously craft it and it's gonna take 369 bits of scrap which is a heck of a lot of scrap uh, but of course you can um, kind of yeah clutch this quite nicely if you've got I mean you don't really need that much money to do it uh, you can actually go to uh, the craft masters and and get that scrap probably the craft masters is the best way to get it because they always give you like 20 or 30 something scrap so here we are the craft master and you, you would go right across to where it says craft parts and this time it says 24 but sometimes it will say like 34 or 36 so obviously then you want to buy it all um, and then you're going to leave there and fast travel straight across to the boat and pretty much the same thing I think even if you check as well like inside these rooms here just to the yeah just to the side there's like a little um, trash can there and then you can take that out of there as well I know it's only little bits but it might make it go like a tiny bit faster um, and then you can go up here now I've done this like probably two three times um, and there's always been uh, some scrap there there's never not been scrap so yeah I'm just gonna buy them okay. all again and these guys are in the way <laughs> and then I'm gonna head back and it's kind of just rinse and repeat just go in fast travel to fast travel um, from the boat to the fish eye if you come out of the uh, the metro station there you will see there's loads of these I've already obviously picked them but there's loads of these trash cans uh, all the way around this area see, there's three there already um, see, there's a four uh, five so they'll only give you maybe like two three four um, five six <laughs> you know um, pieces of scrap but you know it when they obviously respawn and and stuff you can go around and get them as well okay so you're gonna have to make sure there's a slot free on your accessories uh, which now I've got 15 out of 16 so yeah I've got a space there for it um, and then going to crafting Obviously we got 392. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna craft uh, the force now. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations. If you do actually want to keep that gun uh, from the Doom level, you want to make sure that you empty out all your accessories, unequip them all, um, which you can do. Um, and yeah, then you want to go into the level, uh, play as you normally would, and you'll see it will equip into your. Um, Whoa. <laughs> we're gonna equip into your your stuff and then 
you just want to basically, yeah, uh, quit the game. I'm just going to go ahead and quit the game. I'm going to hit continue. And then it's going to load us up outside of that area of where that doom gun actually is it's gonna it, we're not gonna obviously be right back in that room okay so we're in some completely different building right here but as you can see there's some little candles right there i've just come straight back to the basement to try and obviously go, get back down there and have another go at the game and they will not let me back down there so that freaking absolutely sucks but yeah, I thought I'd put this in the video for you guys just to show you what happens. Uh, so yeah, enjoy it while you're down there because you never know, they might shut you out. <laughs> Alright guys, so <laughs> I may not be able to get back in and play the game, but I've got the gun. I've, st I've got the gun right there, so it worked. We've got the gun in our inventory. Oh, cheat mode is on, guys. <laughs> oh, 